Okay, so I'm back again. I've changed some things up. I've added a reboot, uh, reboot uh, desktop entry, uh, made a shortcut so that I don't have to go down here because with my pen or my finger, it's hard to get down here to go to the reboot to shut down. And also, if you've noticed, I have also a shutdown button. So these are these are just the basic uh, desktop entry shortcuts that I made. And if you've seen some of my other videos, there's a link um, to a place where you can see what that looks like. Um, I'll show you just for the heck of it. But if you go to the text editor, and you'll see right here where I've made the desktop shortcut. Um, it's whatever name you want to give it dot desktop when you save it you create a file an empty file and then save it as whatever it is dot desktop and it'll it'll put a icon on a desktop and then you need to fill out the parameter per, I can't even speak pyramid parameters there we go um, and put these fields in it and I, I got I googled it and found this and then I just modified it to fit um, what I needed so that works and then and I think I've showed that in a prior video but anyway so I, that's what I did is I, I found some icons on search and I downloaded them and imported them to the Pi and or did a file transfer with the uh, VNC and then and put them over there in the okay, case so I changed the icon also for my video uh, recorder and changed uh, and then added one with a stop recording now before I was using my phone uh, app that re um, uh, wraps um, whatever connect rasp connect kind of hard to say there and I couldn't and I had so I used to use the command so what I figured out though is that you can change the preview window uh, window here I go again I can't even speak I changed the preview window so that you can see the, the, like say if I had a little space, I could see the icon over here. And so I created a stop recording so it would stop and with the, with the command in there. And I'll show that real quick, the desktop command, see? Um, and then that runs in the ter terminal and then it, it kills it when you click on there. So I'll show you how what it work, what it does. And I'm just gonna show you with, I'll try with my fingers, I'm, I, our hair, here we go. I'll, use a stylus pen and it's a little hard because I'm one-handed here Come on. okay so you see the uh, recording video mm, just for giggles look at there I can show my desktop and a bunch of weird stuff okay so I got that and then if I want to stop it then of course like I said it's a I can use my finger or the stylus. Stylus works a little better if I can get it to respond. Kind of hard. Give me one. Hello. Okay. So they got the stop. Should stop. Maybe. There we go. So it stops. Well, I think what happens is when it's processing the video, uh, converting it, it takes a, just a little bit. You can see the hourglass working there. So all those processes have to happen. So now I'm going to show you. The code I made uh, an adjustment. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so I added minus P stands for preview, and then you uh, X Y. I guess your you know vertical, horizontal, or whatever you call it, your axis there, and then the window size. So I made it 640 by 460. I did try different different ones to uh, get the best fit, and what I got on there will work, and works for me fine. So that I put that in there and then saved my file. And so then that's why it brings up the smaller preview. Otherwise, it takes up the whole screen. So that I can see this stop uh, recording icon. So I can click on it and stop it. So now let's go see if it recorded. And this may be better on here. VNC, so... And what I've done too is I right clicked on this and set the permissions to open in the OMX player. I had a TBO player, but for some reason it's, it's kind of glitchy and this just works better. So this should start playing as soon as I click on it. And it 
look, that's what I just recorded. You know, one of these days I'll figure out how to record sound. And there we go, look at that. Nice, nice recording. Sorry, I didn't have the dancing alien this time. Anyway, so that's it. It should. Oh, okay. So it's still recording. So because I uh, sat it down and had to push the buttons. Okay. So now it stopped recording. So there you go. Hopefully that gives you a little bit more insight to this project and experiment or whatever. I've kind of, you know, I know there's, there's probably better ways to do this. And um, there's probably even a um, graphic uh, user interface for the program for the Pi camera, but I'm just kind of playing with it. I like messing with the code. It kind of gives me something to learn. Maybe I don't know that I'm learning. I'm just copy and pasting really, but I kind of am. Anyway, so there you go. Um, I know these are dumb videos. I'm not very good at talking to them, but give me a thumbs up or down, whatever you think. Uh, I really don't care. Um, it's nice to see a thumbs up though. Thanks.